I'm going to be blunt here and ignore the elephant in the room. Go on. Get in the corner. Go on. There. Okay, Bombshell is a new top-down action RPG from 3D Realms, the makers of Duke Nukem. And sadly, much like Duke Nukem Forever, huh, deja vu, Bombshell fails to live up to its expectations in any way, shape, or form. You will start off the game attempting to rescue the President of the United States, who has an awesome American eye patch. Seriously, this might be like the best part of this game. That thing should be mandatory for all new presidents. From Evil Invading Aliens. That is a pretty standard plot. From here, you'll go on a rampage through the White House, and then onto alien planets using an arsenal of weapons to mow down generic aliens. Aliens that have acid blood. You're not even trying, are you? Sounds like I could be describing any number of action RPGs, right? Yeah. And I have no retort for that. Adding to the overly generic plot, Bombshell controls like a three-legged elephant. Oh, don't give me that look. I found the keyboard and mouse controls to be really unintuitive at first, so I used a controller for a while and it still doesn't handle that well. I eventually switched back to the keyboard though because I eventually found out that like half the controls of the game don't bind to your gamepad properly. And these bad controls really don't help with the platforming sections. Yeah, there's platforming. That's fun. And then the camera. The camera is perfectly fine if you're going up or to the sides or anywhere in between. But if you dare to go down, oh, good luck seeing anything. The camera does not adjust and is pulled in pretty tight, meaning you'll be shooting at and getting shot by enemies you cannot see. That's fun! But even when you can see the enemies, half the time I can't even tell if I'm hitting them or not. Oh, and how about the cutscenes that the game forces you to watch while you still get hit? Seriously! Sucks. Okay, so the controls are bad and the story is generic, but what about the weapons? Surely from the makers of Duke Nukem there's some awesome weapons, right? No. Pulse rifle, shotgun, machine gun. You do have these cool little rolling bombs that sometimes hit your target, and other times roll back and blow up on you. You also have some special abilities like a dash punch, which is incredibly hard to use due to the aforementioned bad controls. I continually missed even though I was directly aiming at enemies. <laughs> A cool part of combat is the occasional finisher you get to do, but they're rare and add nothing to the gameplay, so I'm not even sure why I mentioned it. Now here's something a bit weird. New weapons are given to you at set points throughout the game, but that's not the weird part. The weird part is that you'll be picking up ammo to guns you don't have yet. All the time. I wish I was getting ammo for the guns I actually have. So let's add this up. Bad controls, generic story, bland weapons. What's next? How about really inconsistent enemy AI? Sure, why not? Sometimes monsters are incredibly hard and clever. Other times they just stand there and let you blast them to death. Like this boss that the game made a huge deal about. But nope, he just walks at me menacingly, then dies. Eh, let's just move on. Character progression. With money, you can upgrade all of your guns, giving them added damage or alternate effects, or you can simply buy ammo from shops. Each weapon also seems to have a branching path, which means you're gonna have to choose which upgrade path to follow. This is actually kind of nice. Now, whenever you level up, you gain ability points, which you can use to upgrade your stats, like your armor, health, or effectiveness of your special abilities. There you go. That's character progression. Nothing really to it. When I compare Bombshell to a game like Helldivers, which I love by the way, Bombshell feels laughably inept and overall half-baked. It's like the developers had a good idea but couldn't execute it, so they just put out a super basic game because they needed to recoup their costs. Now, I purposefully haven't talked about the elephant down there because I want you all to understand that this game is bad based on its own merits as a game. And you know what? That's where I'm gonna leave it. Don't play it. Play something else. <laughs> No, I'm not talking about you! Get back in the corner! Make sure to level up your MMO knowledge by visiting MMORPG.com, subscribing to our YouTube channel, and by following us on social media. To catch up on the week's biggest MMO news, watch our latest MMO FTW. And to see if there's a better MMO out there for you, watch one of our latest First Impressions videos. Thanks for watching.